Hello everybody, I'm Dustin. This is Video Game Sauce. Today will be my first ever pickup video. Generally, I find pickup videos a little... Uh, not my cup of tea, but, you know, I'm gonna give it a shot. Seems like people like to pick up videos. I'm not... I don't know. People are showing their stuff, but... People like it, so... And I have quite a lot of stuff. I pick up stuff all the time, so... So without further ado, this is my pickups video. Alright, well, first thing on the agenda here, like I said, pickups video. Now, I kinda, uh, lately I picked up quite a lot of Atari stuff. I own zero Atari things, and now I own quite a lot, actually. Yeah, I picked up, uh, let me see here. I'll go through the list here. Atari 2600 Junior. Pretty cool. Can't go wrong with this thing. I also picked up the Atari 2600 Darth Vader Edition. That is cool. And this thing is actually in very good condition. I like it. Ralph Bell standing up on top there keeping me company because nobody else is around. And of course, with the Atari 2600, I got a bunch of games. But uh, the thing that I found pretty cool, and I still have to fix this thing, is the Starfighter. Uh, Starfighter, the ultimate joystick. Nice thing about this is that there's a metal ball in there, so it's metal on metal contact, so you really don't, you know, if you're playing your game like this, uh, you really don't lose too much. But with this one, the metal connections on there, especially with the, the button, have sort of, uh, I mean, it's pretty old. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and sand it down so I can get that really nice connection, but pretty good controller. Okay, like I said, I picked up the two Ataris. Of course, of course, you can't have an Atari without the Atari 2600 video games. And I picked up quite a lot lately. Not a lot, but for a good amount. <laughs> so I'll just run through the games here. First game I got here on the Atari 600 is Qbert. I love Qbert. Um, I'm sort of partial to Qbert on the ColecoVision. Pretty good. Okay, next here on the Atari 2600, I'm just going to say, all the next games I'm going to do here are all on the Atari 600, so I don't have to repeat it. Uh, Space Invaders. Pretty cool game. Pretty fun. Very simple. Sleek, yet yeah, stylish, somehow. I also picked up Missile Command. This is very fun. I'm actually going to do a full-on review on this game. If you guys like the, the new Atari, the different style of reviews for Atari, people seem to like them. If you do, make sure you comment, subscribe. Missile Command, very fun. All right, next game here is actually another review I'm going to be doing is Joust. And I almost said the Atari 600, but I just said I've already paraphrased that they're all going to be Atari 600. But anyway, Joust. I'm terrible at this game. I have a really hard time controlling my ostrich. Uh, is it an ostrich? I'll have to look into it. That's why I do the reviews, so I can read and learn about these games. Here's another one. I have Breakout. Pretty fun. Problem with this and a couple other games I have in here, I don't have the paddle controllers. I did pick up, which I don't have, right? Well, I do. I'll show you in a sec. Paddle controllers, the plug and plays, those are killer. But I don't have the Atari ones, so I cannot play Breakout. Okay, next on the docket is Berserk. I've been playing this game a lot. I love this game, and I did a long play video of Berserk, so you guys know. But, you know, I'm not surprised people didn't watch because I just went on and on and on, but Berserk is pretty cool. Alright, next one is 27 Telegames. It has shooting games, uh, sorry, let me back up, it has shooting gallery, planes, submarines, and ships. It really does have 27 different games. It says for one or two players, but since I don't have the instructions, I don't really know which games are one player. I tried a couple, but it seemed like I needed a second controller. Kind of a cool pickup, telegame. Okay, here's another one where I need the paddle controller and I'm unable to play, and this is a fantastic game. I remember this game from when I was a kitty, and it's cool. Warlords, I actually have two copies of this, and Warlords is awesome. And actually, it's on that Atari paddle controller, which the plug and play, which I'll show you guys in a sec here, but pretty cool game. Oh, I have two of these too, unfortunately. Pac-Man, I remember this game being a way better when I was a kid, but as soon as I plugged it in, I knew it was just a bad. It's bad. And I've said it before because I reviewed it before in my review, and then I did Miss Pac-Man, which I also own, of course. Oh, oh, bad. Hard to, hard to play. Moving on here, pole position. Played a little bit. Pretty fun. I mean, it's not one of the games that I particularly, particularly... <laughs> Get a little tongue tied, particularly the uh, pop in a whole lot because I'm not a racing game guy. I'm just terrible at them. Next here, and this is actually in very, very good condition. It's probably my most uh, best condition Atari game that I have, and that is Video Pinball. 
it's okay. It's kind of boring. That's just my opinion, you know. I, yeah, it's, it's kind of boring. Video pinball. Okay, next here, Pitfall. Pretty cool game. Well, I like it. It's a classic. It's made by Activision. How can you go wrong? Pitfall. Pitfall Harry, come on! Not at all like Super Pitfall, which is a huge pile of shit. And another one. I have Sears this time. Sears Telegames Pac-Man. Ugh. Oh, my favorite. My second most favorite of the bunch here, Miss Pac-Man. This is an excellent Atari 2600 game. Everybody, if you own Atari 2600 and you don't have this, go buy it. It is so good. Venture. Not my cup of tea. I tried it. Never heard anything about it. Didn't care for it. I might have to try it again. Maybe I was wrong. Because I've been wrong before. Daytona USA. I was very wrong about that game. Jungle Hunt. This is pretty cool. I uh, watched... Uh, go check out another channel after you watch this video, of course, um, called Mamecade. He did a whole review on Jungle Hunt. That's why I bought this game. This game is awesome. It's amazing. As well as the arcade game, Jungle Hunt. Another Warlords. Looking forward to playing it sometime. When I get a freaking paddle. Galaxians. Did a review on this one. Fantastic video game. We are the Galaxians. Our mission, destroy aliens. And finally for the Atari games. Sad because I bought this instead of seven other games in uh, an eBay lot. And this is the reason I bought the lot for Demon Attack because... It, it looks very cool. It's by iMagic. I, it doesn't work. I really wish it worked. I, I kept taking it out of the Atari and putting it back in and hitting power and off, and it doesn't work. So I'm going to have to buy it and try to get another lot or just straight up buy this game. I really want to play this game. It looks very much fun. All right, next here, as you can see, I bought it for the low, low price of $3.99. This is Beyond Good and Evil for the PlayStation 2. This game is very good. Um, I'll be honest, uh, this is not, well, it's sort of a recent pickup. Uh, I bought it a month ago at a, a bookstore, and I just sat on my shelf for a month, and I didn't even think about it. And I've heard for many years this game is great. And I actually talked about this on the All Gen Gamers podcast, which was on. Check it out. But this game is excellent. Very good game. You can buy it on PlayStation 2 and Xbox 360. Xbox 360 HD. This one's still badass. It's a very good game. Check it out. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Moving along here. We're, we're plowing through these games. This is very good. This is very good for me because usually I'm in a huge diatribe and I'll just talk about whatever. Anyway, I went to a garage sale recently. Many years ago, no, I'm just kidding. Um, went to a garage sale two days ago, and in a baggie was this uh, a <laughs> Game Boy Advance. I almost said Atari. I got Atari on the brain. Anyway, Game Boy Advance, the first edition, Glacier edition. I I'm gonna do a review on this too because anybody who's played it, you know what I'm getting at. It's so I had a I, like I said, I, there was a bag with the Game Boy Advance as well as 10 games, and I bought it for $5. And some of these games in here, I don't know anything about. They look fun, but they're not my cup of tea. First game, on, game here is called Beyblade V-Force. I don't know anything about this. It looks like an anime RPG to me. Could be fun, I don't know. Okay, next on here is actually a good game. Um, you know, usually movie game, video games, in my opinion, are terrible. Terrible. And I have a low opinion of them, but this is Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chess. And I played a little bit, but actually it's pretty fun. I played it for a few minutes. I like it. I'll just try it again. Next here, I have Tekken Advance. It's okay. <laughs> I like Tekken. Of course, on the Game Boy Advance, it's going to have its limitations. Well, it's, it's still pretty fun. Tekken Advance. I'm saving the I'm saving the best for last because there's some gems in here. Next one here is, and the, the, the text on here is incredibly small. It's called World Destruction League Thunder Tanks, made by 3DO. 
I haven't played it. You know, and I popped all these games in to make sure to make sure they all work, and it does work. I need to play it. I don't know anything about it. Thunder tanks. This is one of the reasons why I was so excited when I got this. This is Super Mario Brothers Deluxe on the Game Boy Advance, or Game Boy Color rather. Pretty good game. I'm not gonna sell it. <laughs> it's, I love these. It's uh, I, I played it a little bit to make sure it worked, and what it looked like to me was. Super Mario Bros. 1 Remixed. Pretty cool. Alright, next one here is Metroid Zero Mission. I have two of these now. I might be putting this up. So, Metroid Zero Mission is a fantastic game. Usually these go for anywhere from like 10 to 20 bucks on eBay. Pretty cool game. I highly recommend it. Anybody, if you want a Game Boy Advance, pick up this game. Next game here is the last of my Game Boy Colors. I'm going to hide it because some people might get... I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm not... I'm not going to say I'm not a fan of Pokemon. I just don't know much about it. I just know they're collectible. People like them. So when I saw this, I was a little excited because... I know they're very collectible. So what I got here is Pokemon Crystal version. It looks pretty cool. It has... A Pokemon on the cover. I don't know if that's mute. I don't know anything about Pokemon. I'm not gonna act like I do. It's kind of cool because it has clear case. It's blue and it also has little sparkly things in there, like glitter. So it's Pokemon Crystal version. Okay, moving on. This is one gonna be one of my last things before I, I show you guys my special thing. Like I said in the title, the special announcement or probably over here somewhere um pick this up at Discland. it's a Discland is a local game store next to me and they actually have some good deals um it's one of my very few dreamcast games i don't have too many but this is house of the dead 2 this is a fun game the dialogue on this game is butchered but it's it's pretty pretty fun it's it's a straight up arcade game just if you play this game just check your brain out because if you if you if you look into this game too hard your brain is gonna hurt. Just check your brain out and then enjoy it because it's fun. And the dialogue is like, I don't know what the hell they were. I don't know. Okay, guys, second to last. I promise. I, I almost forgot. I was gonna show you these. These are the plug and play Atari pedals by Jack Specific. These are very cool. Uh, I figured how many games are on here. There's like eight games, and then there's like Warlords, the arcade version, and Pong. These are well made. And I got it for the low, low price of like $3 at a thrift store. That ugh, pretty cool. And I, I was surprised because the, the paddles here are so well built. It feels nice and sturdy and heavy. And man, what a fun game. Two players. Two players. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like I said, I've been going through an Atari kick, and these are awesome. Runs on batteries. Doesn't run on thrills. Okay, last thing I got here is not a pickup. Um, I own three... I own three GameCubes. Uh, I had one that was black, and it was very scuffed up, and it was really horrible looking. And I wanted to give it a new look. This here is for Jay the Classic Gamer. Um, this is my thanks to Jay the Classic Gamer for sending me the ColecoVision and sort of bearing with me because, well, anyway, he knows the whole story. But anyway, this is for Jay the Classic Gamer. This is my blue painted GameCube here, and this this was difficult to do. As you can see, it's blue. It's, I, you know, I, I I don't think there. I, I know there is an Indigo Blue GameCube. I don't think there's one like this. There's no GameCubes like this. Just for you, Jay. <laughs> so anyway, you know, I, I I love this thing. I did screw up on one part up here when I was spray painting for some reason. This thing went off without a hitch until I got the last step. And the, the back here, I missed it. I didn't paint it. I got really close and I fucked it up. So I just sand it and then uh, give it a new coat. So you can, in the light, you can start to see there's little bumps. Just turn the back. But otherwise, it looks pretty cool. Painted the two buttons here. I left this original color and I left that the original color too. Jay, the classic gamer, this is for you when I get paid. <laughs> I'll send it off to you, buddy. 
Uh, thanks for bearing with me. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. That's my uh, first ever pickup video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. I had a good time. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm Dustin. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.